I don't know if you can see this phoenix right here on the bottom of my shirt, but it's just like that. We're like a phoenix rising. Hey everyone, it's Julia here for another video. And I am so hopeful. I know, I know. Basically, there's been, like my shirt says, a widespread panic going on about what's going on with our country. And it's just like so many things keep happening over and over again, uh, one after the other, faster and faster. And it's pretty crazy and we're all pretty worried about what's going on. But I am hopeful. And I'll tell you why. There's something happening, something very beautiful happening. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Julia. I'm a, a liberal hippie living in a van who's been sort of red-pilled in the last couple of years. But I have another video about that. But really, as I always say, you don't have to be conservative to be concerned. And that's sort of playing out. We've seen over the last many years, a lot of people on the left renouncing that. The why I left the left and the hashtag walk away. There are so many people who have done that because really the left now is like the new regime, the new system, you know, the new power brokers, the new powerful ones. And so many people are standing up against that and walking away. But more than that, there's some kind of big connection happening, some kind of big like unity, I call it the great unification now. So I don't know if you saw um, Tucker Carlson, the deadhead, <laughs> I'm calling him now, is on tour, doing a live tour, and he has all of these different guests. And he just recently had Russell Brand as his guest. And I watched this video recently, and it was amazing. Now, Russell Brand, he goes off on this rampage about questioning the left. And it is a beautiful thing. Of course, Russell Brand is amazing if you haven't ever checked out his work. And this this just brought so much hope to me. And it's this interview is sort of the epitome of what I'm talking about here with the great unification. There are so many people uh, who are liberals who have stood up against the extreme nature of the left now. Because what's happened to the left? These liberals haven't necessarily become conservatives. And it's just the left has become so extreme to the point of violence, the cancel culture, the hatred, the anger, the non-accepting of anybody else's views but their own, and many more things. So many people have been speaking out. All of these people... Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, Matt Taibbi, Michael Schellenberger, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, Joe Rogan, Winston Marshall, James Lindsay, John McWhorter, the lady from Libs of TikTok, Chaya Reichik, I don't know how to say her name, and many, many, many unknown people, a lot of people in the uh, gay and lesbian community speaking out, a lot of Muslims, a lot of artists and hippies like me. Why are all of these people speaking out? These people are now being called far-right extremists by the extreme left. These people are liberal people. They still share the same liberal values, but they each and every one of them have come out with like, this is ridiculous and standing up for basic principles. And that's what sort of unites us all. We haven't necessarily gone to the right. It's much more complex than that. Again, it's the left that has changed, become more progressive, more extreme, more socialist, even more communist. And by the way, when I speak up about being anti-communist, it's not because... The presidential candidate is being accused of being a communist. So I'm now like touting that line. I didn't even know that she was going to come out. I didn't know her history. It's not because of that. It's because of what I've already been seeing and understanding and my complete revulsion for that type of system. So this has nothing to do with certain political people. This is all based on basic principles. Now, the right, too, has strangely become more liberal, like with free speech, being, you know, seeing the error of their ways in terms of like all of these foreign wars and trying to control everybody and building democracies and all of that. Even people like Tucker Carlson, the big bad, you know, far right Fox News host has become a little softer around the edges, revealing to the mass audience that he actually has always been a deadhead, as in the Grateful Dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> and him and I went to our first shows right around the same time. Anyway, so it's not really about right and left. Again, it's more about these principles. It's about being honest about what's happening and speaking out against it. And I'm just so proud of everybody doing that on the left or the liberals, I might say. And many of them are from my generation. People like Elon Musk, you know, we're about the same age. Michael Schellenberger, he's the author, the author of San Francisco, another liberal who's like, hey, let me research this stuff, what's really going on, and finding out the truth about this stuff, and then writing a book and speaking out against, you know, the the extreme policies that they've had in San Francisco that caused the city to go to, you know, to crap, my beautiful city that I was born in, the, the city where the revolution started of the 60s, you know, all of the good things that came out of that. And there's so many good things. But as I think most of us realize now, that's been hijacked and co-opted by much darker and more extreme forces than, you know, most hippies that started this whole thing in the 60s ever intended to happen. But I am just so proud of all of us in my generation. You know, sure, Jordan Peterson's a little bit older and RFK Jr., who I didn't mention yet. And and that that right there, you you see RFK Jr. comes out in support of Trump and then is influencing sort of what Trump might consider for his policies. A guy from the right, a business guy, a corporate guy, who probably wouldn't be thinking about the chronic illness problem that we have or the environmental issues that we have. And we do. And so RFK Jr. kind of coming in to the camp of Trump is influencing him in this good way. And this is what I'm talking about, about this new connection that's going on where people are connecting and this the great unification. There's something happening that's really profound here and very hopeful. I don't know where this is going to lead, but it feels like a new movement. It feels like we have all the smart people on our side. It's like we are the new rebels. We are the new revolution. We are the new movement. We are the counter revolutionaries. You know, we are the ones standing up against what is a real revolution to take down this country, to take down these principles. You know, if you are still on the left and you don't realize that it's not the same thing that you used to support. It's, they don't have the same ideals. They've proven themselves to be dishonest, to be unprincipled, to be hypocritical. I mean, when you look at something like BLM, like everybody can agree there's been a problem and we need to continue to address it as this country has been doing its whole history. If you look at that and you look at the riots that took place, the vandalism, the destruction, the violence, the hatred. Is this really what you are for? I'm asking you to look at that. You look at the LGBTQ movement and you see how far that's gone towards not being included or being accepted in society, but asking for additional rights, additional power, and the power to shut down other voices. And we're not even going to go into the thing about the children, which is you know, this whole thing about consent. I mean, where is that all leading? Is that what you're really for? Was that the idea you had in mind when when you, you know, wanted to support these movements? When you look at the left's deference to authority, not questioning authority during COVID, not questioning the big evil corporations, you know, Pfizer and all of them who, you know, stood to make billions off of this and ultimately lied about the efficacy and safety of their product. And nobody on the left asked any questions. Everybody just strapped on their masks and many people are still wearing masks and shut down any voices that went against it or questioned authority in any way. Is that still the same liberal idea of questioning authority? I don't think it is. And I think they've proven that. The cancel culture, the shutting down of free speech, all of these things. It's like, who are these people? And I'm asking you, if you're a liberal like me, to ask yourself, am I one of these people? Do I really believe in these super extreme views? And these are extreme views. And that's why it's pushing all of these other people who are more reasonable, who are using logic and common sense. That's why it, we're all being pushed together in this camp now because this side is so extreme. I mean, are you for an open border, a completely open border, 
Really? Where people come in illegally and then get all of the benefits, benefits that we can't even get, that people that need help in our country, the poor people, can't even get these people from another country come in and get immediately social security benefits, debit cards with money, hotels and apartments, free medical care, free education. Are you really for that? Does that sound like a sane policy to have a wide open border mixed with a welfare state? Is that sustainable? And the numbers coming in are so huge that even if you were for immigration, that this has to be seen, if you're looking at it from a common sense standpoint, as the most crazy thing ever. These are just some of the issues that the left is pushing that has made so many of us question it and go even further to now fight against it and speak against it. Because poof, it doesn't take being hit over the head to see what's happening here. We are now the ones with the big tent. We are now the loving and compassionate ones. We are now the ones that are going to make things better. We are now the ones that are going to actually address some of these problems, like RFK with the chronic illness and all of these things. Things that the left used to do to try and do to make better. We are the ones now. So I am just super, super hopeful about this. And we need some hope. We don't need to be in a panic. We need to hold true to the basic principles that I would think any reasonable person can agree on, including being honest, allowing other people to have their viewpoints, um, connecting on issues that we share, things like the border. Any reasonable person knows that we have to do better than this. So I'm saying join us because we have a new movement. It's the great unification. And you know what? We're going to win. Not win against people, but against really bad ideas that are tearing us apart. We're going to win and make it better, safer, stronger, more realistic, more honest and true, more righteous. We are the new revolution.